In this video, we will cover websites and web pages. When we browse through the internet, we see links to many websites. These links are nothing but website addresses, also called as URL, which uniquely identifies the site. When we click on any of them, we are taken to a page which is typically the home page. Every website has a home page typically called index.html. It is the first web page that appears when viewers go to a website. You will also see it has linked pages which have the same look and feel or standard design. Where are these websites and pages coming from when you click them? They are residing on special servers called as web servers. It's also called as hosting the website. On a web server somewhere are set of files that are transmitted to user computer when they specify the address of the website. So a web page is nothing but any digital page or document hosted on the internet and a website is a group of related and linked web pages hosted onto a web server which share a common interface and design. Similarly, there are web portals which are sites that offer a broad array of services such as email, forum, amongst others. Example, sites like MSN, Yahoo or large corporate sites. Let's look at different part of a web page. A web page typically has a page title which is displayed on the title bar of the browser displaying the web page. A header is displayed at the top of the web page defining the purpose of the web page and can contain text or images. Then there are navigational links which are the hyperlinks placed on the web page using which you can move to the linked web page or documents. Below it is the body of the web page which contains the actual content of the web page. Last of all is the footer where usually the copyright notice, website contact information etc is put. In the context of web page, hypertext refers to the combination of any text of graphic image to which a link is added. Hyperlink refers to the dynamic link upon clicking at which a new web page or program opens. A web page could have a static or dynamic content. Static is the fastest and most efficient way to deliver content. It takes minimum amount of resources and most secure way to deliver content. Dynamic content is typically for data which is constantly changing. For example, weather data or stock data where content changes too quickly. Pages that display viewer specific content, example e-shopping site or pages that display content conditionally, example, where you log into a banking site, etc.